In this video, I'm gonna be walking you through my entire workflow for finding and purchasing domains for the lowest possible price and making it as easy as possible for you to purchase 100 domains that you're likely to use for cold email or whatever you want. Here is my exact workflow. There's a tool called Spaceship. If you go to spaceship.com, you can sign up for an account, make it really easy. Now, what I love so much about this tool, we're gonna to come into domain name search, is this beast mode. So a lot of times we have to buy 40, 50 domains at a time. And we're trying to find domains that are similar enough to our primary domain. So for example, let's say that my company is called Beaver Marketing. So I'm gonna look for companies with Beaver in it. I'm gonna look for marketing. I might look for ads, advertising, beavers. I'm just typing in keywords that are relevant to my business so that if I'm using those domains, people aren't gonna be like, well, what is that? By the way, Beaver Marketing is not a real company. I just made that up off the top of my head because Otter PR is my company. Okay, so what's so cool about beast mode here is you can customize the search filters. So you can search all these different endings, so .ai, .app, .bot. I like to stick to .coms, so I'm gonna go ahead and clear all the TLDs, and I'm only gonna select .coms. These are the cheapest, and they're also the most trustworthy. So people tend to click on .coms more than they would a .net. So we're gonna search for only .coms. You can add .co in there, just so you can see the process. You can look, uh, add different filters in here. So all of these different TLDRs that you can add in all these different uh, spaces, finance, education. These are all different keywords that you could potentially add if you need to. So now I'm gonna come down to transform. This is really where it becomes powerful. I'm gonna hide on availables, hide premiums, and then let's just apply options and see what it finds. There's a lot of hacks that I'm gonna show you how to implement so I can buy domains in bulk. But right now it's just searching for all these keywords for any .cos and .coms. Usually it's not gonna find any before we add any of these domain hacks. So normally you'd have to search, here let's add, add this prefix and suffix. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna tag these one syllable words on to the beginning and end of your keywords. And it's gonna mush them all together to find the correct domains for you. So use, get, the, meet, open. There's other ones that I like. We can use, for example, course, learn. These are all words that it's gonna append to the before and after of the domain. So now we can go ahead and apply those options and we're gonna get tons of domain options that we can purchase. So it's finding them all right now. While it's searching, let me show you some of the other things that it can do. So under this transform option, you can use domain hacks. So instead of hire.com, hire.ly, you can drop the last vowel so this is actually shortening the domain. I love to do this. Before I use the prefix and suffix, I would drop the last vowel first. So if it's beaver.com, it's gonna drop the last E and just be beaver with the VR. Really cool domain hack. You can pluralize the nouns. So if it's beaver, it'll change it to beavers. So a lot of really cool domain hacks that make this really easy. Okay, so now it's giving me all of these results that are available and that meet my criteria. Adslab.co adscourse.co. So you can see all these .co's are up top um, and they are on sale. Another awesome thing about Spaceship, the price. If you're buying from GoDaddy, it's $12 to register for the first year and then $24 to renew. You're not going to find a price better than $888 for a, a domain. And renewal price is also super cheap. So now I can add all of these to cart at the same time. Depending on how many domains that is, that's 55 domains, you can purchase them all at the same time. That's $549. There's also some great discount codes on Spaceship. Um, I'll add them down in the description so you can go down there and save some money um, on, on these domain purchases for your first time. So checking out is really easy. And now you're able to find and purchase domains for the lowest possible price. But before you leave, there's one last thing I wanted to show you. It's really important for deliverability purposes to have your name servers not on Spaceship. So anytime I buy a domain, anywhere. The first thing that I do with that domain is point it to Cloudflare. And this is just a really safe way to protect your domain and improve your deliverability on that domain. So let's come into some of the domains that I already have. This is my launch pad. I'm going to come into launch pad. I'm going to manage domains so I can do advanced DNS. I could come into domain manager and here I can control the DNS settings. So let's go ahead and click on this, this first domain that I want to manage. I'm gonna come into name servers and DNS on the right hand side. Let's move my big face out of the way for you. So right now these name servers are managed on Spaceship. 
So name servers, as you can see, they're clearly on Spaceship. So what do I do if I wanna move this domain to Cloudflare? It's actually really easy. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna copy this domain. I'm gonna come into my Cloudflare account. I'm gonna add existing domain, paste that domain in there, continue. You should be doing this with all of the domains that you purchase. We're just gonna select this free plan. Now it's scanning any existing DNS records. We're just gonna always continue to activation. And then it's gonna give you new name servers to use from Cloudflare. So all we're gonna do, I'm gonna copy this, and then we're going to edit our spaceship name servers and to custom name servers. And we're just gonna input those ones from Cloudflare. Save those settings. And now anytime that you need to manage your DNS records, you can do so from Cloudflare. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue. Now, right now it says that it is not propagated yet. Usually this takes a couple of minutes. So in the next two minutes or so, you can either click check name servers now or come into your domains and you'll see that it's active there. And that's it for my domain workflow for finding, purchasing, and then moving those domains over to Cloudflare. This is how I buy domains in bulk for the lowest possible price and keep them nice and safe and manage all the DNS records in one place. So if you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and watch my other videos to learn how to do cold email effectively. We'll see you soon.